Okay, guys, I want to show you a video of the LX25 wood miser, my review on that. The sun's behind me. You may see my head moving around a little bit, but I got my little buddy, my grandson. He's a measuring across there. Um, that I had to put it 39 and a half inches with six by six, and um, that's how far it is from outside to outside. It's 39 and a half inches. I'm just giving you an idea, and um, he's measured it for me there, but it's 39 and a half inches, so and that's how far you got to separate if you set one of these things up 39 and a half somebody else had something different but i put mine in the middle and um we're getting ready to fire this thing up so keep your eyes open okay so the lx25 wood miser i've had it for eight months i ordered it in april of last year and it took me to december to get it and it took me about three days to set it up because i set it up by myself and i have used it several times I've got a lot on that blade over there and it's still the old blade still cutting good um, hopefully i hadn't hit nothing don't think i've hit no nails but um the wood miser lx25 i do like it i do know there's one video um, that a man he's had trouble with his so far mine's been good i keep it cleaned out on the inside and um but i made me a little loading dock right here um you might see my shadow but um what i did is took some i cut me some 10 inch boards three and a half inches thick and that's oak and um, I, I think it may be red oak but um, I just stacked up the boards and um, I loaded up three logs and what I did I made me some um, pieces cut some pieces of wood to hold those logs in place that one log don't look too good right there but these are going to be pretty good I can get some tens and eights out of these two and I cut these cedars just to make wedges you take a chainsaw and just cut one side down and you cut off the other side and you got two and you stick them right in here to wedge that wood so it won't roll off but that works real well for me and um my well my grandson here he was on the tractor and the tractor really helps me a lot i did a video on the um the tractor and you can watch that but i'm getting ready to cut some of these boards i'm trying to make a little shed to put some stuff under but that th this this log right here is 22 inches on the other end back there by 19 and up here i think it's 19 by 17 i put the big end first I, I really like cutting the big end first i think some people will cut from the small end now that one over there is going to be about the same on both sides so i'm cutting some of these boards and um so the wood miser to me is a good meal hadn't had no trouble with it um i got everything level i did have one little cable to come loose back there inside or on the back side that holds everything up and um, so going to do some more videos here so just keep watching if you want to see the wood miser at work I, hope you like this video. I went ahead and cranked it up but when you crank them up a lot of times they ain't run in a while i hadn't run it in about a week um you have to let them warm up a little bit choke at a time or two but let them warm up before you put the um put it in gear because sometimes it'll cut off when you get it warmed up they run good this is a nine and a half horsepower engine Kohler engine on this unit
because I was about an inch and a high, inch and a half, somewhere's inch and a three quarters higher up here on this end. So this thing would push back easy. You wouldn't have to, you could just let it go and it would go back. So um, that's another thing you can do, but everything's got to be level this way, but you can have it up a couple of inches high on this side. Um, the man that I bought it from, he told me that, and that makes a big difference. And this is inch board here. You always got to allow for your blade too, because you're going to lose. If you don't allow for that blade, you're going to lose. Um, you'll lose about an eighth of an inch because the blade is eighth of an inch wide. If you're thinking about getting a sawmill, and this is a good mill. Um, I'm going to show you this board right quick. Okay, I'm going to show you. Now, when I measured, I measured from the top of the wood all the way down to the blade even, and that gave me exactly one inch. It's just a shade thinner down there because that piece down there wasn't, that's, that's a thin side on that end down there. So, um, but this is exactly one inch. It cut all the way across straight. And the, no doubt the blade does need to be sharpened or changed, which I got some more blades. You can see a little bit of that fuzz there. It don't matter to me because I'm making some two by fours. I'll get all I can out of this blade back here. And pine cuts a little different from hardwood and they make a special blade for pine, but I just got the regular blades um, that will cut everything. I just didn't want to spend no extra because I'm just using this for some two by fours. And um, it's a big log. And those back there, they're not rotten. They, that one there is a little bit on the side. Like I say, that's my staging ramp over there where I can just roll the next log up here when I get this one cut up. And so I'll show you that it's a nine and a half horsepower motor. Um, I, I'm going to tell you something. If it had a 14 on it, it wouldn't make me mad. But this thing's got plenty of power just for cutting. You ain't going to go into business with it. But, you know, it's just one of those things. And I may change this out later on. It works. It's okay. Um, the water runs through. I got it on there. You can see that. Flip it back. Sometimes I forget and I waste my water. But do not leave the water in there when it freezes outside. Because last year I was going to try, in the wintertime, I was going to try to come out here and cut some wood. And this was froze up. So always run your water out um, if you know it's going to be freezing and you need to use your meal. That's another thing I'll tell you. And um, But so far everything is good on this meal. Um, the blade does need to be sharpened. If you'll come back to my channel later on, I'll show you how to sharpen these things, possibly on the mill, but um, we'll see about that. Um, there's a special way you can do it. There's a couple of ways you can sharpen your own blades. I hate to have to pay them $15, $20 to sharpen them when you can buy a blade for $15 or $20. So this mill here is a good mill, and I'm going to cut another piece. I'll let you see that, and I'm going to measure it and show you how I measure it. If you're just getting started and you want to measure something, you can take your roller and set it on top of the blade. And I got one inch right there because I'm going to need some pieces to go on top of my shed. And that's exactly one inch all the way across. And um, you always make sure everything's right. It should come out one inch on the other end after I cut this. But you can also, I'm going to show you another little trick. Now this is a two inch block that I had already cut. It's exactly two inches. If it dries out, it might shrivel up a little bit. Hopefully you can see this. But that's exactly two inches and what i'll do if i'm cutting two by fours i got four inches this way but I'll, I'll i'll lower that thing and get it even with the top just to make sure they're two inches because you don't want cuts that are off cuts you want to get everything as square and as precise as you can so hopefully that's going to help you and um, there's all kinds of little bitty things that you learn when you start cutting with sawmills but the lx25 you can't go wrong with the LX25, I believe it's a good meal. And yes, they do make other meals. They make some good meals out there. But I got this one because this is just, it was close, about an hour and a half or hour and 15 minutes from home um, to where they had the Woodmiser place. And um, so that's why I bought Woodmiser. And I did have to wait, like I say, eight months to get it. I'm gonna cut one more piece.
Okay guys, I just made another cut and um, this is another inch board. It does have some holes in it where some bugs got in, but still, it's still solid. Maybe a little bit of the edge on the outside. I'm gonna cut these up and make, um, put my, fix my tin on there. That's exactly one inch um, on this side and exactly one inch on this side. So it did turn out good. And I'm getting ready to flip the log so I can start cutting me some two by fours. I figure anything I can get, um, the ones that I need, pretty good looking board there so wood miser yes and this wood is dry um, like I say maybe a little place here and there that will have to come off I wish this log was 12 and a half I need some 12 and a half logs this sawmill will cut 12 and a half um, feet logs but I may add another portion on I, I think I might be able to do it myself with some angle iron instead of buying another one of these pieces because I think those things are they're pretty expensive but wood miser, yes, my review's good on it. Motor runs good. You have to let it warm up. Other than that, hope you like this video. And if you will, subscribe to us. I'll come back later and show you how to sharpen that. Maybe on this and without taking it off. I've got two ways. But um, we'll look at that and see how that turns out. And um, so I'm going to lay this board over on the other side. I'm